I'm here at Hometown Heating and Cooling in Belgrade where a climate bill is making it more affordable for everyday Americans to afford clean technology like this heat pump. It could be as much as $14,000 available in rebates. And what's unique about this is it resets every year. The Inflation Reduction Act is a deal including a slew of incentives like tax credits and rebate programs meant to encourage home improvements that would increase energy efficiency and clean energy technology, something that the owner of Hometown Heating and Cooling, Tim Delft, says will be a game changer for homeowners. And we're expecting that top tier equipment to, to qualify for it, so what they want to see is the most efficient equipment being installed with these rebates. The rebate program would reward eligible households for energy savings. Those amounts could increase for low or moderate income households. Depending on if you qualify for it, it could be up to $8,000 rebate. Um, and then there's other additional rebates too for updating your electrical panels and other um, components in your home. The only problem is figuring out what those qualifications are. And none of those details are ironed out yet. Delph says right now they don't know what the efficiency requirements are for people to meet the qualifications and there's no way for people to find out that information either. We are supposedly supposed to provide the rebates to the customer um, and then get reimbursed by the government. Mm -hmm. And since there's no actual uh, portal or, or, or active way to streamline that process, everybody's kind of sitting, going around going like, well, let us know when you can get it figured out. So when will everything be figured out? Um, they're saying that this program won't even be ready to actually roll out for what we do until probably mid-year, possibly in third quarter. But in the meantime, there are other ways people can take advantage of the Inflation Reduction Act. Other elements of the bill would make it easier for folks to invest in solar technology. Now solar is affordable. Jackson Rogers, the area manager for Pure Light Power, says in the past this wasn't the case. But now federal government will take care of 30% of the cost of that through tax credits. Rogers predicts about 650 to 700 million dollars staying in the local economy if they install the amount of solar he anticipates. Um, never before have we seen a better time to convert to solar energy. Never, never, never. And with the new incentives um, offered by the federal government, never, w I mean, heck, will there be a better time? I don't know. In Bozeman, Jolie Salee, MTN News.